Uh, we got to just sort of take, take a moment and explain that your company is a testing company. It's a re you're, you're not making cannabis, you're not growing cannabis, you're not selling cannabis. We are, um, actually what we're doing is we're a research and development company and we've been focused on this for the last five years. Ultimately, my background, I'm not a scientist, my background's not in science. My background's in um, design, uh, film, and uh, that's why I've got this chief visionary officer title. Ultimately, uh, I was very impassioned because I had a cousin who died of a brain tumor who was a cancer researcher. And I had suggested he use cannabis and he just didn't want to do it because he didn't believe that uh, cannabis was tested and it, you know, it had uh, enough support so, uh, and there was also a stigma behind it, uh, but he ultimately uh, understood that uh, this was something that would get, was going to need a lot of time. So all, what I did was I got together with my business partner, Dean Pitcanis, uh, and Dean had pharmaceutical experience and background, and uh, I explained to him what I saw in, Cal in California uh, about this new industry that was boiling up, and um, being, an entre being entrepreneurs, we said, okay, let's go after this marketplace, and Dean said, if we want to get into this the right way, we need to standardize and we need, and we need to take it from a pharmaceutical approach. So that's what we did. Is that because it's been a free-for-all with the supplies coming from a variety of different places and there's no, Nobody knows, yeah. there's no way to really regularize the content of whatever the chemical is that is necessary and then also being able to grade it for, at least at this point, it's going to be retail consumption, I'll give you an example. Right? Ma Maureen Dowd wrote a piece in the Times recently where she took a whole candy bar and she, you know, she had a psychedelic episode. Uh, there was no, why she ate it. She ate it. There was no dosage regulation on it. I mean, this is what we're talking about. We're talking about testing. We're talking about dosage. Everything that we do is, is pharmaceutical based. Uh, so we have a great R&D team. So does that mean ultimately you want some kind of label like they have on liquor bottles, Absolutely. on wine that says, you know, don't operate heavy machinery while you're under the influence of that? We want to know exactly what's in it. There's 85 known cannabinoids in cannabis. And we are, uh, my partner and I actually uh, went, out, went after a U.S. government patent called Cannabinoids as Antioxidants and Neuroprotectants, and we are the exclusive license holders of that patent. Uh, it's the 507 patent. It's, it's kind of getting a lot of traction now uh, in the news. And one thing that we've focused on is, you know, obviously FDA drug development, looking at two di different diseases that involve the brain, uh, hepatic encephalopathy and chronic traumatic encephalopathy, which is a... a a brain disease that is suffered by a lot of football players, soccer players. So we're trying to do a lot of things that involve the brain. Now, how do you do that? Well, you do that with standardized approaches. Um, you know, we were very, very involved in, in New York State's uh, bill being passed. We worked with regulators here in New York State. Well, Governor Cuomo of the state of New York just signed uh, the bill to, yeah. uh, to legalize this. Yeah. I think it's about 18 months away.